Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so at the end of the last one I said that this song was going to be talking to you guys about the website um, and giving you guys some updates about what's been going on with the website and now this is something I sort of said I would talk about more this year. It kind of hasn't happened and a lot of the reason that kind of hasn't happened is Wix doesn't like Firefox very much and Firefox is my primary browser and I know there are going to be lots of people out there going, why do you use Firefox as your primary browser? Firefox is not necessarily the best browser to use. Yeah, I know Firefox is not necessarily the best browser to use. I don't think there is a best browser to use. I think everybody kind of has their preference or their preferable browser and you tend to sort of stick with that. And for some people, it's different browsers work different, work better on different devices or on different computers and stuff like that. So yeah, um, Firefox, for most of the things I want to do, works absolutely fine. For Wix, it does not work very well. Um, so I'd been sort of trying to do stuff and then struggling to get it to do the things that I wanted it to do. Um, which is which just sort of frustrated me a lot um, and it kind of slowed things down quite a lot and all the work that I've been planning to do I kind of just I, I just just did not have the energy for um, I have now discovered it works better on Google still doesn't like my laptop very much because my laptop isn't the most powerful thing in the world my internet can, my internet connection is not the fastest in the world either it's cheap <laughs> It, it's cheap and it does what I want it to do, but it's slow. Um, I, I mean, I, whenever I load up, upload um, one of my vlogs, um, I need to make sure that, you know, it's one of the few things that I'm doing because it can interfere with me streaming stuff. But not always. Certainly if I want to stream anything that's a little bit longer, um, it, it can interfere with that. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not the fastest internet connection in the world and it does take a long time for me to upload like even the shortest vlogs. Um, but as I said, it works for what I need it to work for 99% of the time, so I'm not going to complain about it, I'm not going to change it. Um, it's perfectly adequate, um, it's just a little slow, but because it's a little slow, something like Wix, where it's sort of trying to use quite a bit, um, when you're using the editor at least, um, it's not always liking it very much and it can be a bit slow and a bit janky and um, having said that it does work a lot better on google chrome and a lot of the changes and things that i've been wanting to to do and to make and to progress with i've actually been able to do and progress um and and sort of get started with uh so um i should talk through what some of those interesting things are um <clears throat> first up I've added uh, the information for all the covers I see to the website. I will be, after the relaunch of um, Hyena Boy, also be putting the updated uh, links for Hyena Boy on there. I've, I've already, I'm already aware that's something I need to do. It's already something I'm preparing for. Um, I haven't done it at this point in time because I still haven't released it at this point in time. In case you can't tell, this, this video has been done on the same day as the last video that you guys saw. <laughs> like directly after so that my train of thoughts can continue might as well go with it whilst I'm, I'm thinking about it um but yeah uh as of uh, as of this point in time I haven't put the updated links on there but by the time you guys see this the updated links should be on the site and it should be uh, should be doing everything that I needed to do so yeah as I said uh I've added the colours I see. I've also finally put live um, the section that I've been working on kind of in the background, which is the Neverayton collection section. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I'm trying to do with the, the Neverayton series is because it because it is a collection, because not all the books are out yet, and because there is stuff going on that doesn't necessarily get fully explained. Um, there are there is there is a lot of theory potential. I think there is a lot of theory potential. Um, like even as stuff does start to get explained, because there's stuff that is not necessarily either fully explained or fully explored, there's still a lot of like theory potential um, there in the background. And 
I'm I'm a theorist. I've I've talked to you guys before about the fact that I'm a theorist. Um, and when I say I'm a theorist, I mean I'm a fan of game theory and film theory and and, uh, and that pattern and that kind of thing. But that's not like the only theory things I do watch. Um, I do watch, as I said before, PokerTubers, and a lot of their stuff is theory related. Um, I do watch uh, Wisecrack. Yes, that's what they're called, Wisecrack. And a lot of their stuff is theory related um, or text reading related. Um, so it is something I am genuinely interested in. It is something that does genuinely fascinate me. Um, so the idea of putting little secrets and little clues on the, the pages for each of the boys, um, that's kind of how I'm doing it. The book's individual page is also kind of got like a, a profile for each of the boys. So far, only Jay and uh, Zell's ones are live. Um, the other two links don't actually have pages created for them yet. <laughs> they will. They are coming. Um, I, but like every time I kind of say to myself, all right, I need to work on those pages now and at least get like the profiles for these two boys up there. And then like, oh, but I need to tweak this and I need to do this and I need to do this and then that and that and the other first. Um, the friend that helps me with the covers is also helping me tidy up the site. The reason he's helping me tidy up the site is because he has a more powerful computer on a better Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> so, like, a lot of the jankiness isn't um, present on, on, on his computer. So he can, like, get, like, things properly lined up. Whereas sometimes, because it's just, it moves really slowly sometimes when I'm doing it. Not always, but sometimes when I'm doing it. So I'll think I've got it in line, have dropped it gone off to do something else and it's actually ever so slightly off where it needs to be um so I'm, I'm getting him at the moment to sort of go through and just tidy things up where they sort of need to be tidied up um they don't always need to be tidied up but just just as and when they need to sort of have something doing for them he's sort of going through and he's going through and he's he's tidying it up because he's got a better computer and he's got a better eye than me <laughs> I I you know I'm, I'm I try to use the guidelines as much as possible but I'm not very good at um, spatial awareness um I mean I, I walked into a sink like a sink where I know where it is the other day <laughs> so like you know in, in real life my spatial awareness is not very good and on a computer screen it's even worse <laughs> um but yeah, that's that's one of the, the sort of the big kind of overhaul that, that has happened is I finally got the first part of the Neveration Collections pages live. Uh, so there are secrets now on that page. Um, some of them more obvious than others. Um, I plan sort of as things go to add more secrets to the, the currently live pages and obviously add the, the other two pages in with their own secrets. Um, but in order to add the, the two other pages in with their own secrets, I need to decide how exactly I am releasing the titles for those books and at what point I'm releasing the titles for those books. Um, so I originally had Jay and Dell's pages with their um, web bar thing. I can't think what it's called right now. Um, with the full book titles at the end. I've changed that now to just the, the shorthands that I use, which is H B and T C I S. Um, because when I start creating the other two pages, they're going to just be the shorthands for those. So the, the initials that I'm using for those. Um, just so that I don't reveal the title of those books right away. Um, but um, I, I'm not sure how to like title the pages and stuff like that in order to in order to conceal things. So at this point in time, I'm kind of like I don't know how I'm going to lay out the information for these other two books um, in order to uh, not release the titles too soon. I know the titles are fixed in place and the titles are not going to change. Um, the titles will work for the books that they that they are. Um, I mean, even though the fourth one hasn't happened to be frightened fourth one yet, it's it, the title is a good title for that book, so it, I'm not planning to change it. But I also don't want to reveal the title too soon um, because, as I said, I'm still writing that particular one. I'm still editing the third one. 
um I've been like literally just started editing um I'm not even like part way through my first going through of the third one yet <laughs> never mind anything else um so it's sort of very important that I don't start revealing too much information too quickly for these books that are not necessarily going to be released in the first half of next year I mean certainly the fourth one's not going to be released in the first half of, half of next year I anticipate the fourth one is probably going to be 2021 um, although the third one is definitely going to release sometime in 2020, if I can get the fourth one released in 2020, in 2020 as well, yeah, absolutely. That you know that would be that would be ideal. But I imagine that it's probably going to be 2021 because, as I said, I'm still writing it at the moment. I, I rarely started editing book three, um, and I I work full time. I don't have time to be uh, writing and editing two books for release, uh, two big books for release in 2020. Um, however, I do have time to sort of be, be going through and, and you know, de definitely getting, definitely getting the third book ready for release in 2020. Fingers crossed by the summer, but that's what I said last year, so it's probably more likely going to be the latter half of, of 2020, especially, as I said, with everything that's been going on. Um, in terms of everything else I've got to be doing and in terms of working on the website in terms of this that and the other that has been getting in the way um it's as it's, it's more like it's going to be the end of, of next year than the summer but if I do make it by the summer then you know then all for it um I certainly plan to have the title released for the third book in the beginning of of 2020 um I don't know yet if it's going to be uh, in January or if it's going to be closer to, to the end of March before I actually really reveal the title. It all depends on how the editing starts going once I actually get the time to start editing properly and I'm no longer sort of focused on, on everything else. Um, but for now, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'd like to release the title of the book in the first quarter of, of next year, um, which means that the name will go live onto the website. But until that point, it, fingers crossed, if I get those pages up um, sooner rather than later, but I at least have the initials for those books um, up and out there so people could start speculating on what the titles might be um, and, and what the books might be about. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite exciting. Um, and I'm sort of at that, that sort of point where it's... Uh, the things that I'm, I'm getting done and I'm getting up there for the website and how the website's looking um, and stuff like that, it's it's exciting for me right now. Um, I mean, I know I'm not necessarily putting like loads of massive uh, clues uh, necessarily into to the pages at the moment. As I said, I plan as things go on, as I learn how to do things, um, and certainly with the help of, of my friend, um, the, the plan is to add more secrets into the pages. So, like, even the pages that are up at the moment, they're not necessarily in their finished state, but there are secrets on those pages. Um, there are secrets on Jay's page, there are secrets on Zell's page. If you're curious, go check them out. Some of the secrets are related to, to uh, the two books that are currently out. Um, some of the secrets are related to points later on in the series. Um, I would kind of say... If you don't necessarily want spoilers, um, don't look at what the secrets are until after you've read the two books. They're not, they're no major sort of spoilers um, on the pages, but there might be one or two things that you kind of go, oh, I wish I'd you know, done things the, the other way around. Um, some of the secrets on the page could relate to uh, both what's going on in the current series and what happens uh, later on in the timeline. Um, I've kind of designed some of them so that you could interpret them for what you already know, but they could also be about things that you don't know yet. And um, that's pretty much how I'm going to do the rest of the secrets as they kind of come out. Some of them will relate to what's already released and some of them will be relating to what's still to come. Um, and as I said, as I, as I add more secrets to the pages and as I do with the other profiles, it's, it's some of the stuff that I, I'm considering and, and uh, very much working with. As I said, I want those pages to sort of inspire um, theories and readings of the book and, and stuff like that. Because as I said, as I've said many times, 
I'm a theorist. I'm somebody who's interested in not taking what's in front of you at face value and interpreting it in different and interesting ways. Um, so I want my, my readers who are interested in that side of, side of things and, and interested in doing things like that to have the opportunity to do things like that. Um, so by sort of feeding in little little secrets, and as I said, they're not a huge amount um, in there at the moment, um, but there are a few in there, and it, it's the start of, of what I'm, I'm hoping will be a, an ongoing project um, with the Neverating Collection. And it's, it is something I'm just going to keep exclusive to the Neverating Collection right now. Um, so Echo doesn't have anything like that on it, but Echo is a completely separate book to the Neverating Collection. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to sort of keep different things separate from each other. And the thing that I want for the Neverating series is to sort of do sort of a bit of theory fodder um, do a little bit of you know foreshadowing and, and uh, interpretations and, and you know get that kind of thing going on because I just feel like it's a better series for doing that with um, of what I've got released at the moment. Um, one final thing that I will sort of say because I don't and this is not related to the website. So what's probably going to happen is this is going to edit itself into the end of <laughs> into the end of the previous one, or to the first half of it, um, with some kind of note about how I tangented it off. Um, and then the second half of this one is probably going to have the same intro from the last one and no kind of lead-in, um, or have this is kind of a lead in as well let's let's see how it goes um but yeah I, I, it, it's a it's a bit long to upload as one vlog especially when it takes about three hours to upload a 15 minute video <laughs> um because my network is so slow <laughs> okay so um Whatever I decide to do with the editing of this video, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Um, I don't know what the next one is going to be about right now. Um, it all depends on how I edit things for this one. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.